Hello everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we will study division operator. So it is an important operation in relational algebra and it helps us to solve various problems. So let's understand the problem statement first. So let's say we have to find out the employees who works on all the project in the company. Similarly, if we have problem statement like student who have registered who have registered for all the courses okay so if the queries of of this kind is there where there is a keyword that is all all okay so what is the notion by which you can recognize that you have to use this division operator so it will be something like this uh, attribute is related to all the attribute all the attribute okay so if something like this is there then we can use this division operator okay you can see here we have to find, uh, identify the employees who work on all the project of the company student who have registered for all the courses so if this kind of problem is there then we have to use division operator now let's define it properly what is division operator so here as you can see this rx we are considering as the resulting tuple and r1z is something which we are dividing by r2y okay so the definition is that the resulting this r1 this rx result is a is the tuples tx in r1z this r1z okay that appears in that appears in r1 so all the tuples in R1Z that appears in R1 in combination with all the tuples of R2. Okay, what I'm saying? All the tuples in R1 which appears in R1Z in combination with all the tuples of R2. That is the result. That is Rx. Let's understand it with a proper example here. So here we have a simple example to understand the division operation. Two relations are there R1 and R2. R1 has schema serial number and phone number. R2 has phone number. Okay, and we have to divide R, R1 by R2. So the first point to notice is, which I forgot to mention earlier, that the result that is R, let's say consider R is the result, will contain, will, contain attributes R1 minus R2 okay so it will only contain the attribute which is present in R1 but not present in R2 fine so this is very important point which I forgot to mention earlier okay now let's divide it so the what we know from the definition is we have to find out all the s1 which is or corresponding to which all the p1 and p4 that is all the attribute of r2 is present I'll repeat myself we have to find out all the s number which is corresponding to all the phone numbers in R2 so let's say we have P1 and P4 so we will see P1 first of all and P1 corresponds to this S1 okay so S1 will be in the result okay if S1 corresponds to all the phone numbers here in R2 so as we can see that S1 is corresponding to P3 which is not here but if you see the third tuple this S1 is corresponding to P2 so again it is a false condition we have to find out 
that S1 should correspond to all the attribute here, all the uh, record that is tuple here. But if you see this record, S1 corresponds to P4, which is here, right? So it means that S1 is will be there in the result. Fine. So R will be equal to S number. Fine. And S1 will be there. Now let's check for other. So S2. Okay. So S2 corresponds to P1 here. Fine. S2 corresponds to P1. So to be included in the result, S2 should correspond to P4 also. So if, if we see S2, see S2 doesn't correspond to P4. So S2 will not be in our result. Okay. So this is something which we cannot include. Now S3 is not here, S4. Let's say S4. S4 if you see it corresponds to P1 and it corresponds to P4. Okay. So S4 will be there in our result. S4. So this is the result of this division operation. Fine. So I hope this is clear. I'll solve an example in example section. So you should refer example section just after watching this video. So it will be crystal clear I hope. Thanks for watching.